Mm, it was a, a beautiful experience for me. I had no idea what to expect, really. Um, what I found with the light disappearing was that um, at the beginning I had constant visions passing in front of my eyes, just like a movie being turned on, just images and images and images and images. And it took a while for me to get um, through this. It was just so busy and um, it didn't make sense to me. And I thought this must be coming out of my mind. So I should understand it. I was trying to understand the symbology, but it, was, it didn't make sense. After a few days though, um, it got quieter and I got to more peace of mind and more uh, mastery of my mind. So I got more into deeper meditations. And the dark room holds gifts for anybody uh, who will go through it. And those gifts are different for every single person, I'm sure. For me, it was um, learning about mind mastery, for sure a deep connection with my inner voice and my spirit and um, on a physical, non-spiritual level it was um, great to learn to move gently, very slowly and smoothly because walking too fast and I would bump into things and um, I would not know where I was anymore and so I learned what it could be like, what it could feel like to be a blind person and um, these small steps that I was taking in the dark also brought me closer to my heart because um, that's how I see my path in life. It's just very, very small steps, very gentle feeling, always putting just one foot in front of the other and that's how you find a smooth way through. I read a book called uh, Autobiography of a Yogi, you've probably heard of it, right? It's been a very influential book for many people. And uh, there's a story in the book about a lady, she was practicing Kriya, Kriya Yoga. And, uh, and I won't go into it because, you know, for time reasons, but she was a breatharian since 2007. Um, I've been eating, breathing, sleeping, uh, the words of Eckhart Tolle, um, uh, expressions like being in the body, uh, expressions like use your senses fully. And so I've really been practicing that since reading the book, which, wow, another thing that blew me away. Uh, in my daily life as much as possible, you know, even in the job, teaching, my God, teaching is ten times easier when, um, when, you're, when there's awareness. And so the dark room for me, um, it, it took that exploration to another dynamic. It took it to a next, the next level. It was so profound. Because in the dark room, um, getting from A to B, if you're not totally there, if you're not totally present in the moment, then you're, you're going to collide with something, you know. Um, everything about your being should enhance the world. And everything about the world 
should enhance your being. The dark room is a perfect laboratory. So when you're in the dark in that one day, second day the DMT produce. When the DMT produce, you see light. But that is the light and color. So light is the food. So most important part, light is the food of the glands. So when you have light, you have you, when you get enough light, you don't need food. Because the gland producing it in the dark, or we call a primordial light. A primordial light. Primordial light in the dark room, you see them as a dark violet light. And there's the highest light. If somebody learn how to be energy fasting, immediately they cut down the food consumption 50%. And it's much higher energy, much higher force. Because, um, you know, what, what we do, and I can only comment on my own work, is part of what we're doing is we know from meditational experience, and, you know, I'm meeting now with people all around the world who are long-term meditators. I've been meditating for nearly 40 years, and in that time, you have the most incredible experiences. And one of the things that we share with people is, if you just breathe, and in your mind, you imagine that you are drawing from the, the deepest currents of love within the matrix of creation, the perfect nourishment, and you're drawing it through your atoms, which we know are doors to inner universes. And you draw it into your body and you allow it to then flood through cellular structure with an idea that that current of the creative life force is delivering all your vitamins, all your minerals, everything you need to be healthy physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. As you draw this in, and then exhale and let it flood through your body, and then you allow it to go out through the pores of your skin into the world, you become a cosmic transmission station of pure love, accessing your own internal resource to feed you, and then send it out into the world to nourish others who are open to this sort of vibration. And then you become a self-sustaining mechanism and you become a giver in the world and not a taker. body is like an energy bowl and we're constantly adding frequencies into it by how we choose to spend our time. We can load into this energy bowl TV frequencies, alcohol frequencies, smoking cigarette frequencies, anger frequencies, judgment frequencies, suspicion frequencies, doubt frequencies, 
or we can add into this bowl good healthy food and meditational streams and peace and the yogic way and kindness as the Dalai Lama says and compassion and loving family and appreciating family and loving the world and enjoying everything this amazing system called Mother Earth can give us and so it mixes different frequencies so when you come into dark room we just did the 11 days and nights with absolute, absolute darkness no food just a bit of juice and fluid you get um, 40 maybe people coming together with all different ch -ch 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 frequencies and you put them in a mixing bowl of energy and then with futuristic science and our chemical practices we add a supporting frequency what we call a baseline frequency into that bowl from which people then feed and get to be together to create something absolutely amazing that uplifts everybody We have to begin to train ourselves to be the spiritual ministers of environment. We can't be just ministers, but we have to be spiritual ministers.